Hi everybody, Michelle Geomatix here today with a demonstration on using the Select tool in ArcGIS for desktop and a few tips and tricks to make your experience easier. As you can see in my map, I have the USA base map loaded and this is a grouped layer, so there's several subgroupings and you can see I've navigated to expose a few of the layers that I'm interested in working with in this map. I've zoomed into the southwestern US so first off I want to use the select tool which is on the tools toolbar it's this one here and I'm just going to select the tool by clicking on it so I want to select some of these cities here in Southern California and Arizona so I'm just going to drag a box and I select all kinds of stuff ArcMap turns selected features a cyan blue color and you can see I selected far more than just the the cities that I wanted to select why does that happen? Well, first of all, you need to set your selectable layers before you make your selection. And you do that here in the table of contents on the list by selection tab. And when you come into the list by selection, it's going to show you a few things. Because I have features selected right now, I see how many features from each different layer are currently selected. I also see my selectable layers, but these are layers for which there are no features selected. And you'll notice these are grayed out. It's because I haven't yet zoomed to the appropriate scale to display these features. And then down at the bottom here are the not selectable. These are layers that are turned off for selection. So I'm going to clear my selected features. So right now my selectable features include the ones you see here in, in their bold print and all I wanted to work with was major cities. So I'm just going to right click this one and choose to make this the only selectable layer. And you'll see it through the other ones down into the not selectable section. You can also toggle these things on or off by clicking on the button here that says click to toggle selectable. So if I click on the freeway system it throws it up into selectable. And then if I click to turn it off it throws it back down into not selectable. Okay, so major cities is my only selected selectable feature. I still have my select tool active, so let's try that again. I'll draw a rectangle around the same cities, and this time it only selects the cities, which is exactly what I wanted to have happen. Furthermore, in my list by selection, it shows me a count of how many cities are selected, which is nine. You'll notice down here at the bottom left of the interface, it tells me the same thing, how many features are selected. This gives a total count, so if I had several layers turned on, like I did before, it would tell me the total number of selected features. Whereas when you come into the select, list by selection tab, it will show you the breakdown of how many features are selected from each layer. I'll go back over to my list by drawing order and I'm going to clear my selected features and now I want to show you how you can set the interactive selection method. So far I've just been dragging a box and selecting the features that fall inside of that box. I can also click individual cities, in this case they're cities. As long as I click closely enough to it, it will select. So you can click and select or drag a rectangle and select. Okay, if you come up to the selection menu and choose the interactive selection method, you'll see that there are four different methods here. The default is to create a new selection. For example, when I click on one city, it selects it, and then when I come and click on another one, it creates a new selection, thereby deselecting the city that was previously selected. So in that selection, interactive selection method, you could also say add to current selection. So I have Phoenix selected now. I'm going to click on Tucson and you see they're both selected. We'll go ahead and click on Mesa and it keeps adding to my current selection. If I choose another option there, interactive selection method, I can remove from current selection. Maybe I didn't want to choose Mesa. I'll just click on it again and it removes that option from the current selection. And then finally I can come up and choose select from current selection and click on Tucson and it becomes the only selected feature. 
Also, you've probably noticed on the Select Features tool, there's a little drop-down menu that gives different options. Again, the default being Select by Rectangle. But maybe you'd like to get rid of right angles in your life, and you'd like to select by a circle. So here I'll draw a circle, and it selects all the features that fall within the boundaries of that circle. So again, the default is to select by rectangle, and that usually does the job for me. So with the default set, that is to create a new selection and to use the rectangle, I'll show you how you can get around some of these restrictions. So let's choose a city. I'll click to choose Las Vegas. And you know, since I have the default create new selection method, every time I click on another city, it deselects the previous one. So if I want to add to the current selection, I can go in and change my interactive selection method, or I can hold down shift on the keyboard and click. And it will add to the current selection. So it's a way to get around that uh, having to change your interactive selection method. And then if I continue to hold down shift and I want to deselect a particular feature, I just click on it again. And then I'll make another selection here. Let's select the cities in Arizona again. And I want to look at these in the attribute table. So I'll come into major cities and open the attribute table. And it tells me that three out of 104 features are selected. And as I scroll down, I can see my three selected features. You also, in your table, have the option to only show the selected features. So if you've made a selection and you want to look at the data in more detail, this is a useful tool. So you can see I have uh, my features selected in the map. They're also selected in the table. And you can select features from the table. So let me clear my selected features. You'll notice there are some selection tools here in the table. And you can click on the little tab to the left of the row, and it will select it. Here, if you hold down the Control button, you can add to the selection. So let me clear the selected features. You don't want to hold down the Shift key here, unless you want to, but what happens is, it selects everything between the record that was selected and the one that you're clicking on next. So if I didn't mean to include all of these, I want to get rid of, say, Las Vegas, I'm going to have to hold down the Control button, click this little gray tab here to deselect it. So when you're working in the open table, you use the Control button for adding more features to your selection or removing them from your selection. Whereas when you're working in the map, you use the Shift key to do the same thing. If you wanted to zoom in to the selected features, you have the tool to do so here. I'm going to close my attribute table and come back into uh, the table of contents. And when I right click on a layer that has selected features, there's a selection side menu that now has several tools that are open and available for me to use. Also, up in the Selection menu, once you have selected features, you have some tools, again, to zoom and pan, and you can get some quick statistics on your uh, selected features. So here are my major cities, and maybe I want to take a look at the population from 2007. Okay, so those are a few tips and tricks on how to use the Select tool in ArcGIS. This is Michelle Geomatic saying goodbye for now.